Jedi General and fabled war hero Anakin Skywalker has lived perhaps one of the most unique lives of anyone in the known galaxy. And after the age of just nine years old, he has a continuous reputation following closely behind him. Upon being formally inducted into the Jedi Order as one of the oldest Padawans and most powerful Jedi ever, he was consistently regarded as the fabled Chosen One, a mythic figure of legend prophesied to one day bring balance to the almighty force. Throughout his life, Anakin vehemently believed that he was incredibly unique and he carried the pride of being the Chosen One across his battles as a prolific Jedi Knight. He led the bravest of his clone forces through some of the most daunting terrain in the entire galaxy, and his confidence was influenced in large part by how the Jedi themselves regarded him as a hero of myth. The prophesied Chosen One after his turn to Darth Vader, however, and his descent into the clutches of the dark side, Vader still continued to believe that he was this legendary figure as foretold in the prophecy of the wills. So why, despite all of the evidence to the contrary, did Vader still believe that he was meant to bring balance to the Force even after eradicating the Jedi Order? How could the Jedi prophecy still come true now that their paragon of virtue had fallen so far from grace by the hands of Anakin directly? Well, today, weary accolades and students of the Force, let's explore why Vader continued to believe that he was in fact the Chosen One after enacting his service to the Empire and the wills of Darth Sidious. Before we get started, however, we recently published a similar video on why the Force itself hates the Sith, and why balance entailed the complete destruction of the Sith Order. While this video is the more accurate representation of why the prophecy needed the Sith to be destroyed, today we will be covering Vader's own personal beliefs about the Chosen One prophecy, which may or may not be partially or entirely correct. This is from Vader's point of view and why he still believed that he was the Chosen One after turning to the dark side. After falling victim to the intoxicating allure of the dark side, Vader began to reframe his life and his own memories, allowing him to more clearly see the glaring flaws of the fallen Jedi Order in hindsight. Vader was able to more precisely pick apart exactly what went wrong in far more minute detail, scrutinizing even the smallest inherent flaws sewn into the very fabric of the Jedi. And he was able to understand that it wasn't just one Jedi who failed, but it was indeed the foundation and the very structure of their order. Their entire system and the roots it had grown had been corroded over time and the Jedi were serving an order that no longer functioned as a whole, despite what any one knight wanted to accomplish. These dogmas and latent flaws allowed Vader to place the entirety of the blame on the Jedi Order in order to mitigate his own personal responsibility and the responsibility for the collapse and so much death, as they were stubbornly continuing to serve a broken system that they believed they were destined to fix, and more importantly, that Anakin was destined to fix. This is where the true crux of why Vader still believed he was the Chosen One. Over the years, the Jedi had slowly allowed themselves to fall from grace and become victims of their own hubris. So when the Chosen One finally did arrive on the doorstep of the Jedi Temple, they did not believe he was any better than any one of them. In fact, some of them believed that they were more powerful than even the Chosen One. And if Anakin were truly the Chosen One as foretold by their most sacred texts, then he would have been destined to lead the Order to salvation, pulling them out of the pit of their own design. In his mind, they should have trusted him and granted him the faith that he was truly meant to save what little of the order could be redeemed and rebuild the foundations of the galaxy in a brand new divine light led by him. Instead, however, the Jedi Order was already too far gone, and they refused to acknowledge that the very subject of their legendary prophecy was actually a valuable asset to the Order that had to be trusted with his own powers. If the Jedi truly believed that he was the Chosen One, then they would have followed him even if it meant marching an entire army of Jedi Knights into the darkness, and in doing so, they would have allowed them to lead them to salvation, although the Jedi would have transformed. Anakin, though, believed it was his right to transform the Jedi. After all, his motivations were never driven by a bloodlusted desire for domination or violent conquest, as he never sought to control those over whom he ruled, at least not initially. Instead, Anakin sought the dark side because he believed it had the power to affect true change on a far wider scale, whereas the Jedi remained shackled by the inherent bias that their teachings secured themselves in the light. If the Force had the power to save lives, then why shouldn't the Jedi be allowed to tap into the power for the greater good of the galaxy. Vader believed that he was still the divine savior of the galaxy, and the Jedi Order were the ones that failed him. 
the ones who had been given the power to save their own order on a silver platter, and turn it away in favor of their own stoic traditions of old. Throughout his time as a violent Sith, Vader acted with the same assumption and authority that he was bringing balance to the Force, and very similarly to the aforementioned video on why the Force hates the Sith, Vader believed that the one particular party of Acolytes were to blame, the Jedi. The Jedi were supposed to be noble servants of the Force to act as an extension of its will, whereas the Sith violently bend the Force to match their own desires, seeking to control it and manipulate it to achieve their own malevolent goals. This means that the definition of balance is the ability to let the Force decide for itself, and allow the Force to measure light and dark without the influence of external individuals. The Jedi help to further the will of the Force, but the Sith, however, are parasites who keep the Force from enacting true balance because they always tip the scales artificially, and in order for balance to be achieved, the Sith must be defeated. But for a much more in-depth breakdown of this, be sure to check out our video on this topic. With Vader, however, he had this idea backwards, and believed that the Jedi were the ones preventing the act of balance from finally taking form and taking its place within the galaxy. He believed that he was this instrument to achieve balance. As the Chosen One, Vader was of the impression that his actions were destined to bring balance regardless of his own personal judgment, and he trusted his viewpoints to be the irrefutably correct path. In his mind, the Jedi were holding him back and actively preventing balance from being achieved by not allowing the Chosen One to make his own decisions and lead galactic destiny to its ultimate destination. But this is why Darth Vader believed that through Palpatine and through the Sith, he could still be the Chosen One. And this is why even after Anakin Skywalker was killed on Mustafar and burned away, Darth Vader still held true to this aspect of the prophecy, that he was the Chosen One and that it was his duty to bring balance to the Force. And even though the Jedi prophecy of old did stem from their order, they were his greatest threat. But as always, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on why Darth Vader still believed himself to be the Chosen One following his fall to the dark side? And what are your thoughts on Darth Vader's psyche at this time? As always, my friends, may the Force be with you and I hope that you have a great day.